that, I think. <laughs> Probably. Maybe maybe this year's blood us is right. a hot, hotter pepper each day. Oh, Guys, God. we are going into game number two here on Towers of Doom. First pick. Going to be on the end of No Tomorrow. Roll 20 pick in the map. Dunk, do you like Towers of Doom? I do like Towers of Doom. I love Towers of Doom. Uh, man. I think it's interesting. Having the map mechanic not tied to an objective that then furthers your experience lead has led to, over the course of Towers of Doom's lifetime, a lot of interesting comebacks. Yeah. Once they fixed the potential three towers at any point, or three altars at any point problem, uh, I think the map has actually become really interesting. And even though the keeps revive if you get them back, there's like an interesting tempo, I want to say, aspect to the map of like, if you can take a keep and then take another keep before they can take their keep back, like you can get an overwhelming advantage. Yeah. Uh, so you have to kind of like draft with this in mind where you do need to be able to retake keeps quickly if you lose one. Otherwise, you're at risk of just getting like destroyed late game. And there's there's like a lot of interesting, I think, strategies, picks, combos that are viable on this map. Just, you know, because of some combination of the mechanic, the shape, the keeps respawning. It's interesting. Medieval first ban here against Roll20. I mean, when you think of Medieval, the first player you think of is Glau. You know, his Medieval is oh, yeah. pretty fresh, so um, just wanting to get that out of the way right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can't pick Medieval, then you have to ban it against Glau, right? Especially on a you map just, like this. There's no. Yeah. You it's have too no much option. to deal with. It's too good. That's what they're known for. They're going to win if they have Medieval. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, they even beat MVP Black. With the Medivh. That was the game they crushed them. Yeah. So Uther is the hover. Respect the Glaudive. If Uther's picked here, wouldn't be too surprised to see no, no tomorrow just go for the early Genji again. I hope we don't have the same Genji as last game where it's like, hey, let's give you a base and kitty wills. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. fun. Uh, that was Target Trees made that first five minutes. Very enjoyable. I'm well, glad you liked the Zoya. Who they're going to be the ban here for roll 20. Yeah. I wonder if we'll see uh, another Genji first pick. No. Yeah. There are only three wells on this map, so we'd only have to kill three wells to reach 100% power. But they might respawn, which could be an issue in the late game. Oh, no. The yeah. ultimate Genji counter. Towers of Doom. Yeah. The, the your wells, wells come respawn. back. Oh, no. No. Oh, they oh, all Genji's going to go, gonna go, gonna go the through. Tasks. They're going to go for the Tassar. Yeah, interesting. Next two picks here for Roll20. They got a lot on their table. They got the Haka for the Global. They've got uh, the Genji. They've got um, other heroes as well, Dunk. Wait, there are other heroes in the game than the Haka and Genji? I haven't seen any picked. What about Apparently. Stukov on this map? Do you think Stukov is great on this map? There's yeah. so many angles where you can get massive, massive shoves. Mm. It's mm. It feels so good. Yeah, and I bet. That's and cool. You can shove people like across the death zone. If they're like trying to push pumpkins in or something, you can go below and push them all the way across the death zone so they die. That's cool. Yeah. Get you Abathur though. We saw a lot of Abathur today. It's like the fourth or fifth game with Abathur. Yeah, a lot of Abathur. He's so good right now with all the dive comps that are going on. Yeah. And because everyone's running dive comps, they're not running siege comps. They're not running Asmodans. They're not running Zagaras because those are vulnerable to the dive compositions. So that essentially protects Abathur's weakness in like the early game and if his structures die then he's weaker. Yeah, Falstead is a really like pretty bad win rate in competitive I mean, too. Falstead is terrible against the dive comps. Yeah. How are you going to keep a Falstead alive against a Genji or a Tracer or a Zeratul? It's just not possible. I mean, Tracer Tass is good though. They got Stitches. You know, one of the, the best things to have in the game. Tracer Tass is going to be able to put pressure onto the back line. Uh, the thing about Tracer though, she doesn't do that well against Genji. Deflect with Abathur hat just kind of melts through a tracer trying to go in through a pulse bomb, pop deflect. What? Like, it's just like cool. What? Good job. I, th I think the idea with the tracer is that you're just going to fight past the Genji anyway. Like, Genji's going to try and dive your back line, you're going to dive Genji's back line, and one of you is going to use your ultimate and kill one of the opposing team members, and one of you is going to use your ultimate and kill five of the yeah, opposing team members. Right. So it's like pretty even matchup, you know? Well, that's okay. They just nerfed Genji. He won't be as good. That's true. True. It only will. only one stack of dodge against Tracer instead of three is really impactful. Yeah. It's massive, actually. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. The Haka ban. That's totally reasonable. You don't really want to deal with the global. No. I mean, it hasn't been that impactful in practice still, today, but it's still it's just so value. I mean, the Abathur global is one of the advantages they yeah. have. And if they can force an awkward fall set or something, which is really, really unlikely, it could be a Brettwing cast theoretically, but I don't, I don't see it. 
Mm, yeah, I don't really like Brightwing Task with Tracer. It's okay, but it's not my favorite. Just you end up kind of damaged light, so if the one shot doesn't work, then you don't have much going for you in the comp. Yeah. Although I do like Task Brightwing in general against Genji. I'm not sure I like it with Tracer. Maybe. Ban here. They could target Warriors, maybe? Let's think about this. They've already got Stitch. Doc is already out. They could ban a noob if they think that could be problematic for them. Oh, they're coming on the last six seconds here, and they're going to ban Arthas. Okay. The roll 20 play a lot of Arthas. Not particularly. Like, I would say an average amount of Arthas, as far as I can recall. Uh, maybe a little above average, but even then, I, I'm not sure it's the best against Tracer or Stitches. He's low mobility, so he can die to hooks, especially if you wall and. Tracer can pretty easily avoid him, so I'm not really sure what the plan is there with the Arthas ban. Hmm. Personally, um, I, think, I guess Uther's already banned, but still. There's other tanks that threaten Tracer more, because she can rewind out of the route, like ETC stun or Diablo stun on the wall, which is pretty easy to do here. I mean, both of those are so much more dangerous than artist to Tracer. I look curious, do, do either of you know, remember what Stukov's win rate is for us so far this tournament? We've seen him twice, right? Or three times? I think twice? 50%, I think. He, I think he won oh, once and lost once. Okay. Just curious there. Last two, or next two picks here for Roll20. They got the Genji Abathur. What will they be locking in with it? It's going to be Malfurion and Chen. Man. I expected the Chen, but I am a little surprised to see the Malfurion here. Um... I mean, he's been relatively popular as, like, the second-tier B-list support. I look at it as a denial for the support spot that was going to go with Stitches. Stitches, mm. yeah, that's true. mouth is just so good. I forgot about yeah. that earlier. I mentioned the Bright Wing as a potential, but Stitches' mouth is actually just... Also, mouth task, tra mouth task covers Tracer's needs really well. Like, does, one with the right. heal over time, one yeah. with the shields. So, that's All actually right. a really good deny pick. Last two picks for No Tomorrow. Right uh, now, they, they absolutely need some kind of range pressure. Range with follow-up for Stitches, preferably, and a real healer. Greymane's still available. They could go Taronda, honestly. Really? I mean, would you like Taronda Greymane? Because that's love, like snap burst. I love Taronda into Chen. Now that Elusive Brawler is terrible, yeah, I think true. you're way likely to burst Chen down. Um, in like a two or three second window with Mark. If you got Mark and, and Curse Bullet, they're going right wing. Grayman. And Grayman. Yeah. I would have liked to see the Toronto over Brightwing, I think, but it's possible that they think they just need the global and they would have been way light on wave clear. Polly is a lot more consistent versus Genji too, though. The thing about Toronto yeah, is, is like true. if you have a Genji on you and you're like you have no peel yeah. immediately. And you have Stitches, no lead CC, yeah. Yeah, he's not Genji, offering yeah. you that peel, so Toronto just dies. Well, last pick here for roll twenty. What are you thinking, Dunk? Mmm. They have Chen, Melf, Kenji, Abba, so they've pretty much got the core of their team locked in. They could pick range damage here. They could pick another melee here. Um, I suspect Lady they'll pick maybe? a range. Yeah, I suspect they'll pick like this a range that can do consistent damage, mm. kind of wave clear, kind of poke alters. They just kind of need an all-rounder like Vala, Lunara, Li Ming, something like that here. My opinion. Oh, coming out of the last 10 seconds, this is going to be very. Ooh, the opposite. They're the all response. in on the single yeah, this target. Is super yeah. dive. This is super dive. They super want to blow up this the tracer. This is kind of like the Chen Classic for NA. You, you kind of just go in. Chen becomes your yeah. big, one of your big DPS. It's yeah. Chen Genji dive. Very into deal with the tracer. Make sure Malfurion's fine at all times. It's hard to deal with, man. It's hard to deal it with is. Chen with an Abathur hat and like. You end up just eventually having enough damage because you cannot peel the Chen or the Genji or the Varian. Um, so, like, eventually they end up killing someone, even if the one shot doesn't work. But I think it's going to come down to, like, whether or not Buds ends up getting killed early in these fights by the Brightwing Tracer Grain main stuff. Because I think it's unlikely. Like, they're not going to lead with a kill on Chen unless Chen's, like, way out of position. Yeah, true. Lead with a kill on Varian. That's mm. just not that likely. Um, so I think a lot of it's going to come down to Bud's positioning relative to like the flanks or engages that No Tomorrow finds.
Well, this could potentially be the last match of the night as this is match point here for Roll20. If they can close this out, they will be able to uh, make every set a 2-0. We will find out, guys. So let's go ahead and introduce the teams on the left-hand side of the map in the blue trunks. It's going to be Roll20. We got the Buds on Malfurion, Justin on the uh, Varian. We got uh, Prismat on the Abathur. Chen is going to be played by Galau. And Genji going to be played by Goku. Their opponents in the red no tomorrow where we've got Trees, Tiger, Equinox, Jason, and Casanova. They're rocking the Brightwing Task for the support, Tracer for the dive potential, and then the burst of the Stitches hook into that gray main curse bullet. It's definitely got that pick potential, especially with Brightwing Polys to help with the lockdown. It just matters if um, they can deal with the dive that's coming their way. Deal with the dive that's coming their way. You feel me, Dunk? We're going to release an album after this show. Probably. That's the $15,000 back That's not Blood Bloods 2018. <laughs> this year was skits. Next year is some music videos. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a break from... I'm going to take a Where's Blood Fanatics Bloods hiatus video? next year. Yeah, we need and that Fanatics, Fanatic video. I don't think Fanatic's going to deliver, man. I don't, I don't either. I have I no faith so. in them. I'd, I'd like to believe, but I just don't. Well, we got the... Uh, Bright wing in the top. Looks like Task Tracer going to be rotating down the mid. We got Justin and Goku down here waiting for Jason to poke forward. But, you know, when you know that you haven't seen someone on the map. What do you think Goku and Justin are doing right now? They're, like, playing Tic-Tac-Toe or something. They're in comms. They're just, like, <laughs> hanging out. Hey, dude, how was your day? Oh, my day was fine. I'm just waiting, hoping this gray man steps up. Yeah, they're not really doing anything on the map. I guess we don't have to go anywhere. Don't have to do any rotations. Boy, Avatar really makes this game easy. Yeah, I'm really liking hanging out down here in the fog. Just... Hoping they make a mistake. Time for Genji things. We're going to go ahead and roll out of there. So it's Equinox. And um, no real contention there. Top one, we got Glaurong versus Tiger JK. Tiger. Ooh, Equinox getting low there. Root just oh, not end up connecting that root from Bud. So close. That would have. Oh, there's that spray. No tomorrow one. Oh. Spicy. Those look cool. Hot. I, spicy I do like sprays. those. I do like those. Yeah, they're gonna spray really with my face on it. Is that an option? Who do I have to bribe? I want Arcanate ones, Blizzard. Come on. I want a Dunk Train face one. That one yeah. looks great. I would, I would buy that spray. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> well, we got the first altar spawning here. Glow, I'm gonna be going over to contest against Tiger JK. Tiger. Or not. Equinox is going to get a lot of good damage on the Glau here. There are some uh, toxic nests, and the Apathur hat is making this dangerous for Equinox. Does use the recall. Parting Gift does not connect on anyone, and his Justin dashes forward into three. He's going to have to back off. Do you see those shields from Tass helping out a bit? Buzz channeling the altar, and they might be able to interrupt this. Casanova looks for the slam just out of range, and the Varian does fly nice forward. Time. Equinox gets the shield. Everyone's so low here. Goku diving in deep. Stasis used by Tasser. Equinox very low as well. Glauron goes back in, takes the damage from the Pulse Bomb, and he's going to end up going down. First blood for no tomorrow. And they got both of those, uh, two of the three. Yeah. Of the yeah. Altars, so. That's a good start for no tomorrow. Oh, Equinox. Goku trying to make something happen on Equinox. Just not quite damage. Classic, though. The Abahat was late. Like, if the Abahat's on him before he E's, he probably gets the kill on Equinox, but it came up, like, quarter of a second too late, so he could dodge the spike. Uh, couldn't get the follow-up damage. It's tough there. Right now, Roll20 has no one soaking top lane. Wait, they got an Abathur. Never mind. I forgot they had an Abathur. Yeah. They're good. They're they just trying to abuse Abathur to the best they ability. They're trying to find these picks and stuff. It's not really worked out for them so far, but it hasn't cost them too much either. Although they're down half a level now, probably because of a combination of the pick. Equinox taking some bursts from the Barry in there. Brightwing getting the teleport down. Polymorph goes down onto Glaurong. And everyone in Roll20 still pretty healthy. I mean, if they can get out of this alive, they forced a Brightwing teleport. Yeah. They're not getting that top. So that's a good trade for Roll20. Yeah. And it's they all good. get out alive. Nice. Yeah, Abathur will be able to soak that top lane now under pretty much no threat. I would have liked to see Goku scout those pumpkins just to make sure they were doing them. Uh, as opposed to just assuming they were. <laughs> but... Oh, it's going to be level no. 7 for No Tomorrow first. They might use that window to invade this camp. Looks like they're getting a position to do exactly that. Justin popping that shield wall. Actually misses the Q. Goku has to use the trait to jump back. Pulse bomb in, and down he goes. A nice Tracer kill from Tracer killed herself, too, with the Tracer pulse bomb. Died. 
<laughs> Classic that. Equinox. That's actually hilarious. Yeah, she died to the fort. Oh, she died to the fort, okay. Hi. Yeah. Well, one for one. Alters mid and bottom. Good, good damage in. You see how low adjusting was. Does end up falling. Jason has a sliver of health. Moonfire actually picks up the kill from Buds. Buds is pretty oom here. Glaurong oh. getting a little bit too hyphy there. He had no mana on his support. Um, I mean, if, if he gets that drink off, though, after the hook, then he can't die. Like, those three heroes cannot kill him once he starts the drink. It's just he had to wait for the hook, and it took Tracer's took back. Too long. And uh, Genji... Does need to be careful. Goku could look for trees. Genji's if he's kind of getting wrecked evolved. by this tracer task. Does he have yeah. E? Honest. Yeah. Oh, oh, we didn't. That's not what he wanted. He's dead. Goku dead. Uh, the hook might be available. No. That's three of the four. Uh, the four that have been capped so far. There's still one more mid going over to those Mar. They're doing a great job of controlling this game so far. Yeah. The apples are really trying to keep roll twenty in the game, but they just. Well, oh, hasn't been effective at dealing damage through the Brightwing task healing. Yeah, but once you've got double Genji at level 10, it's going to be a, a big power spike. Rule double 20. the Genji, double the fun? Double the Genji, double the... Rule 20 doing a good job with the Stoke. Abathur is keeping them basically even. We do yeah. have the teleport in from Tiger JK. Flowerong immediately back and out of there. Equinox taking some damage, going to back out. Root does not end up taking anyone. Ooh. Jason getting very low, though. Looks like he'll be able to get out of there. Can Equinox survive Goku. as well? False by misses. Pulse Bomb does end up missing. They're trying to keep the chase up. Casanova going to be able to get through as well. So no kills for either side again. Scrappy. Yeah. Despite having really mobile like chase damage dealers, neither team's really able to secure kills here. And nice kill on Malf. That makes it start really off. bad. But Casanova is so low. He should end up dying as well. One for one. Glau doing what he can on that Chen and the Abather hat. Uh, but he is overextended. Justin is diving deep with him. But Glaurung is... Pretty much a lost cause, and I don't know if... Oh, 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 yeah, but is Justin too deep? Goku gets the altar, but at what cost? If he gets tasked, no. Yeah, that was pretty scrappy. Seven kills to three so far, I've ever known tomorrow. Uh, but even with all those deaths on the end of roll 20, Abathur has kept them very yeah. even in the experience. So yeah. Not the most ideal trades. They did end up getting that last altar, though, so they are... Only four down in the core HP, but... I mean, they basically, they went one for one in alters there, and the XP stayed even. They might have even caught up a little, despite the deaths, because of Abathur. So overall, if you're a world 20, you're super happy with that, because you completely dodged the 9 versus 10 timing window. You yeah. completely dodged it, because the fight was over by that point. So that's really good for them. Although they're a little behind in structures on the bottom lane, which could end up mattering. Oh, Jason gets hit with the taunt. Nice shield's coming out, but will he be able to live? No, Jason's going to fall there. Good kill coming out from roll 20, and they have that clone up. They do have Prismat on the Genji trying to make something happen here, but uh, just going to end up losing that clone. Still yeah. a great kill for roll 20. Ooh, right wing trying to hunt down a tasty worm in the top lane is not going to be enough, though. It's tough to kill It's really tough. the right Avatar and the solo versus the with the bright wing. Possible, Unless you can catch him unaware yeah, with the center yeah. Q. That's yeah. really the only way. Well, Lau and Bud starting the pumpkin camp here. Going to go uh, unscouted by Goku's Roll20. Hungry for a tiger. Misses a lot of the shurikens, actually. Could have been a kill, I think, if he had A, Abathur hat, B, hit his shurikens. You're asking hey, way too much for someone. Oh, there comes Equinox Both in. A lot of damage. Oh, he got the perfect up. Good, uh, good recall as well, making sure he didn't take that pulse bomb damage back in his face. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Recall's on cooldown. Recall's on cooldown. Oh, he got sprayed. That was nuts. Justin. Varian's silly, too. What Varian's a cool tank. Mega cool. Not mega old. He's well, legit. Glau is going to have to pop Panda Pals here for his Jason, who just put on heavy pressure. And, you know, he's, he's, he's wanting to dive. Goku's here as well. Fair bit of damage. Jason in the Morgan form has disengaged in just one second. Dragon Blade's going to be too much, however. And Dragon Blade actually getting a lot of value on these last two members. Oh, wow. Tassadar taunted and oh, dead. Root. Roots on Casanova. And Goku slips into the shadows. Glau is very low, but Equinox. Oh, <laughs> <high line. laughs> <laughs> You tried. You, you I admire the, him trying, but. That was a really well executed <laughs> fight until the Twilight Dream for Emerald 20. Yeah. They are really popping off right now. And they're going to secure themselves the uh, first uh, bell tower of the yeah, game. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this is a huge advantage for them. They have one of those teams that like struggles at retaking structures, so I was worried they would get kind of tempoed out of the game. If like double sapper happened, they lose their bottom keep, and then 
Uh, no Tomorrow starts rotating, taking other ones. But by taking the first one, they're going to put pressure on. It's going to buy a lot of time before No Tomorrow can ever think about pressuring Roll 20's bottom bell power. Oh, pumpkin camp being invaded here. Justin and Glau are going to go ahead and secure it. They're going to back off. Jason doing the top pumpkins as well. That should go uncontested. So at least they're trying to make up for the losses. But Core HP suddenly even taunt goes down. Root does uh, not end up connecting with Equinox. He's got the recall out just in time. Okay, roll 20. Probably pretty happy with the current game state, despite the awkward level early game. Good face shift. Alter phase yeah. or whatever. Yeah. They force it, but at least you didn't die. Bell Tower can be reclaimed. They know they've got this moment to do that. However, if you look at the top half of the map, that could be eight damage being conceded. Bell Tower should be easily reclaimable. And Varian already pressuring the mid lane with Buzz. So this is just mid maxing at the fullest on the side of Roll 20. They have to watch for Stitch's hooks here. That could be really bad for them. Buds was out in vision, but it's Glau, Glauwerch, Spent. They used Taunt Cleanse is spent to get him out of that. Emerald oh, Wing is nice good, and Glauwerch with the Polymorph on him. Oh, oh my god! Got the pandas <laughs> off, and now they're popping off, going under the fourth. Tiger JK getting very low. Honor already popping that ice block. Equinox diving very deep. They gotta be careful of that extra tower damage, though. Talking Trees with the Taz and our ult going in and kills off Lag if. Genji. Lag if. Lag if on the other screen, it's a two for one exchange, though, as Greymane and Tracer have both uh, fallen. Brightwing's gonna go down as well. Glaurong still alive. Justin almost getting that kill on to Tassar. Tassar and Stitch is the only ones left alive here. I don't know why my computer does that. It just disconnects from the game. Doesn't Twice affect the stream today. Though, right? Doesn't like affect the I mean, the stream just sees Lag if. Right. <laughs> but Dunk's computer, it's not my internet. It's like my client. Sorry, guys. It's weird, man. Kind of like that. Team fight where Roll20 just dove under the bell tower and under the death, yeah, zone, under the death zone and managed to win the fight. Genji, by the way. They um, did goof. They could have waited like two seconds to cap that shrine and they would have gotten one more power 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 tower damage. Yeah, but yeah, that could that could be know, relevant later. We'll see how that um, pans out. Now they're going for the boss here. Still 13 seconds on stitches. The level I can't believe Glau lived there. Yeah. That was that was, that was so nuts. close. Yeah, the elusive brawler was just insane value. He yeah. literally popped the elusive brawler at 10% HP. The yeah, whole that 20 team focused 25 right armor. Or the no evasion. The evasion. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one that got nerfed this patch. But uh, yeah, still. How do you evade attacks while you're channeling a spell? That's what I want to know. He's the god. Dude. Just that good. It's that good. That just good, that good. Man. I took right. dodge there from Clark. part of the future. Well, 16 advantage, it's 17 to 15 presently, actually. Roots are solid, slow and Equinox approach down. Justin will have the heals from that Malfurion Curse Bullet was spent, getting little to no value. And as they dive with the Pulse Bomb, it's going to be enough to kill the Varian. Justin down. Yeah, the Abathur clone coming out, though. They're trying to get Tiger JK. Can Goku secure it? Nice Ice Block stall on this out. And Goku Ooh. taking a lot of damage from the tower. Going to go down. That's a two for nothing exchange in favor of No Tomorrow. They're trying to get the chase on the Glau, but he pops Panda Pals. And trying to get Buds as well. Can Equinox get Buds? I don't think with Glau there, he should Roots be able to kill one second. Roots are available. Hook goes out. Ooh, Ooh that was close. That was close. And here comes the mule. Yeah. No Tomorrow actually kind of got a little bit of fresh life breathed into them here because Roll20 overextended. They had the 16-14 advantage and just kind of pushed themselves a little too far, trying to be too silly. So No Tomorrow is actually back in this game. They're about to get a triple cap probably with Chen completely dead for 30 seconds. This is probably a triple cap. Yeah, this is huge for No Tomorrow. Uh, they've got the advantage in the bell towers. They've got the triple spine good shrine coming up here. Um, can they even like contest stall one of them, or does Roll Twenty just need to give just give it up? I think Roll Twenty can look for a contest. Oh, no, they got bottom, so that's good. Tiger. Yeah, they oh. also found potential food here. Tiger. Tiger uppercut. Oh, oh, oh my! He got him with the uppercut. That is. What I'm talking about. Tiger's live in Emerald Wind value. The Gorge. Chen just Barry. responding now. Glaurung's going to be in the battle very soon. Might go through the portal. Looks like he's going to do that. <laughs> <and get back. laughs> Don't even need him. Equinox down on the Tracer. Go Hi, team. It. I'm bringing Varian to you. Dude, Genji. Uh-oh. Uh Genji. Uh-oh. Hello, fam. Game? Please. Oh, Goku, you are bonkers, dog. <laughs> nice. Oh. Nice Abba Shield. Buds with the very tank. nice Abba Shield. Goku has 100 HP. What was such a uh, <laughs> clown? <laughs> I think Cloud could just kill that keep with those three Panda Spirits. I don't think he has to run away. 
That was no a ammo, such yeah, a I huge know. advantage for No Tomorrow that got squandered. Yeah, squandered, it really was. Like they made a big mistake having Brightwing solo <laughs> rotate right. to the bot side. Like walked right into a Varian. That was silly. Definite mis mis uh, management of resources there. Well, they need to reclaim theirs in the top left, their bell tower. Um, Avatar slowly not doing anything to it. <laughs> He's gotten some of the ammo down, but yeah. that's about it. Uh, but they're even on bell towers right now. It's in awkward positions, but uh, they should both come out on a trade. They'll here. just trade. Yeah, they should just trade them back. Single altar spawning. Ooh, that's a fast spawn, I feel like. The last set wasn't that long ago. You're right. That yeah, does feel pretty that fast. Does seem pretty fast. I guess there's a team fight, maybe. Uh, but 20 to 18, it's going to be tough for No Tomorrow until they close that gap. They're trying to make something happen here, but this seems greedy. Good cleanse. Yeah, very right nice wing cleanse. and the Emerald win. Oh. The, the attempt on Glau is here once again. This time, Panda Pals nice. is not available to get him out. Twilight Dream looking for the potential turnaround, but it's not going to be enough. That's going to be a double kill into Malfurion after he comes out of this ice block. Alts are available in the bottom half. That's four damage on the board for No Tomorrow. This game is evened up. Every time you think one team has an advantage, they just find a way to not have the advantage anymore. And now Roll20 has successfully squandered their 20 to 18 gap. Um, they will end up trading keeps here, actually. This is pretty good by Roll20. They'll get a bell tower in the top right in exchange for the one in the bottom left. Bottom left is more important because of the double stamper, generally. But still. Yeah, I mean, it's good late game shot calling from both teams. That was a really yeah. good invade coming from No Tomorrow to get that kill. Launch, and it was executed, but even with the Emerald Wind getting interrupted, they still got that kill. That's so well done by No Tomorrow, but Roll20 with the counter shot calling, you know, yeah. making sure they didn't lose more than they had to. I can't believe how even this game is, though. 14 to 13. This is what happens on Towers, I feel like. You just get really even, crazy games Who's because in it's here? so hard to play off of oh, Marion with the shield and the Emerald Wind. He avoided the wow. post bomb there. He's living for How so many long, millions but he's body of damage completely. has he protected? Dragon Blade? Oh, is this going to be a 2v5? No. So they get the Varian. Oh, they might, Equinox. actually. Uh, recall, still living. Uh, the oh, Polly interrupted. Cloud does not have the 20. Oh is gosh. nuts oh, for taking man. that fight. Oh, oh my god. That gosh. was overestimation of the Dragon Blade for sure. Yeah. I mean, Dragon Blade is good, but it's not... If the everyone was there, they could have done that. But Malp yeah. wasn't even at the fight until after everyone was yeah. dead. If they would have... Oh, I mean... Roll20's giving No Tomorrow a real chance. <laughs> I mean... Well, yeah. boss is up. Three members are down. It's a 5v3, so they can go to boss and then fall back to the back <laughs> altar if they want. Uh, Look at the mule on the top right bell tower. That's dirty. Abbott there. That is dirty. Just that is dirty. healing I like the, I like the enemy start. bell tower. <laughs> You're going for uh, boss. So that's 10 to 13 HP left. Two altars on the map. Yeah. Can they? They're going to try to end here if stall. they get this bell tower and. Yeah, they have Roll enough. twenty doesn't have time to get bottom back because they're dealing with pumpkins. Like this threatens, this threatens. Yeah, lethal. they have lethal. Yeah, it threatens lethal. lethal. It, if that goes down, once that goes down, they have lethal. They have to contest this roll twenty. Is in the danger zone. It does go down. I don't think roll twenty can stop it. They have to interrupt Equinox oh, now. The gorge, gorge stalls it. I think there that's game. Go. Right, has got the Walking other one. No way. one's gonna interrupt. Well that. played. Good it's turnaround. Game. And very back and forth. No, game tomorrow. Two. That eighteen to twenty invade. You do not expect an eighteen yeah. to twenty invade, and I think that's why it worked so well for them. Roll20 probably felt completely comfortable, level 20 advantage, in the driver's seat, uh, and then no tomorrow,